I want to talk about the closer cult. Um, and the reason that I was talking about real estate being successful in real estate and the, the national average of what people are doing, um, Alma is not doing that. He is closing regularly still. He's still doing business. You're still showing up. Still showing up. And yep. to a point where now you've created an organization to help others get to the point of realizing that the thoughts become actions and actions become results. Right. And you're doing this at a, at a high level. And that's the the closer cult. You have your own podcast, which, by the way, you should listen to. Absolutely. Well. Yeah, some good stuff you on there. You want to give a plug real fast? Yeah, it's just it's just uh, just go on any of the platforms. And it's closer cult, C-L-O-Z-E-R-C-U-L-T. I did closer because I didn't want people to think it was closer. Cult. Yeah. You know what I mean? That can get confusing. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted everybody to know it was closer with a Z. It, it identified perfectly. Fortunately, all those, I have all those platforms and um, it, uh, it, it really was a calling. One night I was up at Louis, um, Louis cabin and I was doing breath work one night, my our friend Louis Hamner. And um, I'm trying to figure out what to do with my life because I've been selling real estate for almost 20 years. I know it like the inside of my freaking the backside of my whatever, okay? And I, I just know it in and out. I've almost mastered most of the processes in, re, in selling homes. And so I'm like, okay, the next, I know the next level of homes for me is high level investing, right? But I'm like, I have all this knowledge and my calling is training, mentoring. That's my calling. And so I like to train rooms of people and I've been, I had the, the ability to do that over these last couple of years, but it all started with this one thought of, of being in a closer. Everybody calls me the closer. I had a closer license plate and all this stuff, right? So everybody's like, "Oh, you're the closer, right?" Because I could get on the phone and set, you know, two to three appointments out of every five people that I talk to. Just ridiculous numbers, stupid, stupid numbers, and I I refined that from setting one appointment out of every 100 people I talked to. So I used to set, it would take 100 people. Now I'm doing it, you know, I can, and I can still do it to this day. We could get on the phone. I've done it many a times in front of audiences and stuff like that. And I could literally get on the phone and just set appointments, cold calling people. So let me just stop Alma here for one second. Getting on the phone and talking to a complete stranger about the largest financial decision of their life is already stressful. Sure. It's already stressful. Alma does it in front of a room of people. Like he's putting his money where his mouth is. He's just like, watch this. And he gets on the phone and I've prospected in front of my team and in uh-huh. front of other agents as I've been coaching. And it's a little nerve wracking because they're, they're listening to everything that you say and your um, ability to overcome objections, your well, ability I'm, to I'm back connect. ass words though, man. It's nerve wracking when I do it alone huh. in my own quiet. What? Yes. So he gets on the phone and he gets these people on. But when I'm in front of a room of two, three hundred people, it's not. It's easy. I 100% identify with that. Do you? Yeah. I was a baseball player. If you put me up for leadoff at an inning, nobody on, nobody out, my batting average was shit. (laughs) Put me on two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Yep. No problem. I'm your guy. Boom, (laughs) baby. Wow. Yep. Yep. So it's interesting to watch. It's interesting. Um, I just think it takes a tremendous amount of courage. And it's interesting that your your personality is just like, yeah, this is my... My, this is where I'm comfortable. I like it here. Yeah. In this in this level of chaos, I thrive. Yeah, I just figured out I thrive. Got a yeah. pressure on. So different like doing a homework assignment, right? Yeah. If, you know what if it's true. not the, the final moment of the last hour, you're what That's are you doing? True. Yeah. Yeah. Also when I've had people listening to me, I'm not afraid to throw down the big the big words, the big right. asks because yes. I, you got to show up. I'm showing off a little yeah. bit. Well, right? and that's why it's accountability, right? Yeah. Because that's the problem is I've always had an accountability issue to myself, but when I make accountability contracts with other people, then I succeed on a higher level. Hmm. If I I'm I sh- I'm shit when I'm making them with myself. I'm I'll lie to myself back and forth. I'll negotiate talk myself out, out of it. it. I negotiate myself out of it. I'll change the whole plan of my day. If I don't have somebody telling me, look, this is what we agreed to, this is what you're doing, then I just, I don't succeed on a high level. Huh. <laughs> Accountability is critical. It's critical. So Closer Cult is, and, and you know, a lot of people are like, oh, are you a coach? Do you coach one-on-one? I actually don't do one-on-one coaching. I train many at a time and I do, I'll train brokerages and, and groups of, of brokerages. And so, I mean, there's been times when I've been, I've trained, you know, from brokerages, you know, 12, 14 different brokerages and, or sometimes bigger, you know, more, you know, different types of brokerages. But, um, it's the methods that I use are primarily on. Yes. Yes. I talk about mindset. I talk about developing skills, 
um, and then actually executing on those things. But I don't just talk about it, I actually do it. And so that's what sets, I think, me up apart from any of the other coach slash trainers out there, with the exception of Ricky Carruth, which is amazing. He's awesome. He, he he will do some of those live calls and show the stuff. He'll put the proof into the pudding. I would say the difference is, is that I teach people specifically how to do it quickly and effectively execute right now instead of taking 10 years to learn it. Hmm. I teach people, you know, Tony Robbins talks about modeling and he says, look, you can go do something that I do like that. You don't have to learn it over the last 25, 35 years like I have. Yeah, I if I that. tell you how to do it, model it, do what I tell you to do and make it happen. And so that's what I tend to do on the closer cult side is that I teach people, look, this is your tone. This is your rate of speech. This is your response. This is your script. And if you do these things, you'll have success. And I've taken groups of people like that and, and caused hundreds of appointments to be set in those groups of people. So I, I'm not trying to, I'm not casting doubt, but um, you have a natural skills of, and abilities that can't be taught. Actually, they're not natural. That's the thing. They weren't natural. When I first started this, I would set one appointment for every 100 people that I spoke to. So every single one of these skills were learned. It wasn't natural. Hmm. Do I have a natural ability to communicate with people? Maybe a little bit because of all the shit I had to do. But again, I had to learn how to talk to people too. Hmm. When I was a kid and I couldn't read and I couldn't write and I had to get around situations or manipulate the way people wanted me to respond. And maybe that helped, but it wasn't natural. That was also learned. Hmm. It didn't come to me. That's the biggest sign of you somebody know? that actually knows what they're talking about is to be able to take 25 years of figuring this out and I'm going to give it to you in one sentence. If you just follow that one sentence, I promise you it's going to, it's yeah, going to work. Do it this way. Do it this way. Yeah. Do likewise. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big deal that Einstein said that really, you know, to, if you truly know something, you can explain it very simply and very pointedly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, it reminds me of like Elon Musk, right? He's in this, he's in this interview. Maybe since you guys have seen it, right? And he's, and he's talking to this guy and they're out with the rockets. You remember yep. he's out in the rockets and this guy goes, okay, so you use this uh, cooling method for the stage, whatever rockets. Right. And he goes, yeah. And he goes, so you also do that with the main thrusters too. Right. And he goes, well, no, actually come to think of it. We don't do it that way, but actually, that would make a better I model. think that makes yeah. makes more sense. I think we're going to start doing it that way. And I'm like, <laughs> like real this, life. this suggestion live, and he changes this entire... The, that same yeah. guy went back a year later, a year later and, he and he's like, it. yeah, totally. Best idea we've ever had on, not yeah. in the room. And, and, and literally, you suggested it while we were live on camera, you know? Huh. But it's that's a token to Elon Musk's ability to go, hey, I've been wrong in the past. I'm sure I'll be wrong again in the future. Guess what? I'm okay being wrong, and this is the way to do it. And so I learned that, you know, one of the great things that George Morris taught me too, is he said, it's okay to be wrong. Just seek truth. Yeah. Don't, don't keep being wrong. Don't keep being wrong. Yeah. If you find truth and you find what actually works, go use that thing, you know? And so the Clo Closer Cult is really just an organization surround, uh, basically encompassing all of those things that I've learned over the last almost 20 years and then just putting them to play. Like, I can't teach you about investing. Okay? I'm not very good at it. Okay. But I can't teach you about uh, paperwork, right? I can't, you know, I have a buddy who owns a real estate B school, right? And, and Lars Hennenberg, and he just, he knows business of real estate, numbers, figures, all this crap. Those are the types of people that do that stuff for me. I can teach you how to say and, and speak to people that causes them to feel rapport, feel better about working together, reduces their risk of working with you and saying yes to your invitation to come meet with them. So the market that, um, just to be clear, the market that we've just come out of uh, and we will be going back into, a lot of people were selling their homes on their own. They could just put up a sign in their front yard yeah. and they could sell the home and they didn't understand the value of hiring a professional to represent them and all of that part. I'm a huge believer in um, if I'm going to fix my motorcycle, I'm going to hire the right guy with the tools. You know right. what I mean? And I feel that way about real estate, the doctors. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a no-brainer for me. Yeah. Um, but the people that you're calling, they don't have that perspective. They believe that they're doing the right thing by saving money and by um, selling the house on their own, and they don't need representation. And so you are calling someone that has the mindset that you are not of value. Right. Um, and so and he's doing that in front of hundreds of people. <laughs> 
think about the marbles it takes to get to do that. I, it's amazing to me. Um, some of the hardest phone calls I've ever made. I don't. That's actually not a, 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 a pool that I swim in because it's just not something I enjoy doing. I I do something else for my business, right? Um, which I'm. I'm good at that, and I'm going to stay in that area, but um, <laughs> mad respect in that regard, because I've heard you on the phone, I've heard you have these phone calls, um, and you ask the question that isn't saying, well, you're dumb to, to do it that way, right? which is how most people approach it. Right. And so you, you have a completely unique style of changing thoughts. It's not even, it's, there's not a convincing that's happening, it's, it's just it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's persuasion, happening. right? It's persuasion. It's, it's not manipulation, it's persuasion. I always ask people, what's the difference? intent your intent exactly is that right you're right 100 yeah. yeah. it's your intent the difference between manipulation and persuasion is your intent yeah so if my intent is to serve and to love and to show a, a positive solid a benefit. amazing beneficial outcome to those people then it's persuasion it's not manipulation if my intent is to go get a commission and oh this is a forty thousand you know dollar commission for me that's manipulation yeah. Right. Right. And and that's the one in one hundred phone call conversion. Right. Yes. That's the difference. Exactly. That is the difference. Yeah. Because they can smell it when you get on the phone immediately, subconsciously. You're, yeah. yeah. You're almost like not even through your hi. My name is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're, they're dropping the hammer on you. So I, I um, much appreciation in that. If you have an opportunity, uh, and I would, um, I want to go. Now I'm in the business. I want to learn more about the closer cult. Where would I go to learn more? So go to go to closer cult on Instagram. Go to Old Closer Cult on YouTube. Those are the places to go. To find that. Yep. And you can message me on Instagram. I'm super responsive. I have thousands of people that message me on there. Um, some of my videos have gone mini viral, which is cool. 120,000, 130,000 views. Oh, wow. So it's been, it's starting to grow. Um, but I just started Closer Cult like, you know, a little over a year ago. Yeah. And I started doing a podcast at the same time because um, my buddy Jimmy Rex suggested, look, if you're doing this, you need to do a podcast at the same time. And he was like, you have to do, you have to do um, audio and video at the same time. If you're building your company, do a podcast with them. I'm like, why? He goes, because you, your connections that you make with people will be so valuable in your growth. You, it'll blow your mind. He's like, it's not about making money. It's about growing connections and who you become because who you become will provide who you how much you make so i was like whoa and that's the best way and, that it's been put and here we are <laughs> why we're here and here yes. we are <laughs> yep. i i advise anyone to do a podcast because there's it's your story right yeah it's your presentation it's your perspective your delivery your delivery yeah 